the <laughs> best. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Clark. You take the medical questions. I'll take the, the uh, legislative questions. It's a. Um, it would just protect the doctor-patient relationship from infringement uh, by the legislature. So uh, you couldn't uh, pursue the criminal prosecution and uh, finding of legal liability uh, if a doctor does what a doctor is trained and supposed to do, provide medically accurate information uh, and that it comports with their uh, code of medical ethics. And this is only for female patients, or does this extend to every situation? It extends to every situation, and it is not limited to uh, you know the debate on women's health care that, of course, has been uh, front and center here in Ohio. But there are other applications as well of um, sound medical practice and ethics being interfered with in the legislature. You heard one example. Uh, from Dr. Morrow, uh, the gun situation. Uh, there have been some on environmental issues, uh, you know, some gag orders on doctors uh, that have been around the uh, natural gas development issues. So this really would have a general application to politicians interfering uh, between patients and doctors. Can I just make one?